this is your daily morning devotional for January 12th. Scripture reading is taken from James 4, verse 3. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your flesh. Obstacles to Prayer, Part 2 Another obstacle to answered prayer is selfishness. In the Lord's Prayer, you won't find the words, I, or me, or my, or mine. What you will find instead is, Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. Deliver us from evil. Matthew 6 verse 11 to 13. Are you getting the idea? The man who prays, Lord bless me, my wife, and two children, us four and no more, won't get a favorable response from heaven. Jesus said, Whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Mark 11 verse 24 But that scripture is not a blank check. God's answer to selfish prayers is always no. James writes, You ask and do not receive, because you ask amiss, that you may spend it on your pleasures. James 4 verse 3. Maybe you're thinking, the Bible says if I delight myself in the Lord, He will give me whatever my heart desires. Psalms 37 verse 4. Yes, but your desires must be in harmony with God's will. God blessed Abraham so that he could become a blessing to others. Genesis 12 verse 2 and 3. God knows what you want and he also knows why you want it. Is it only for your own comfort and convenience or also to fulfill his purposes. Only when you have answered that question honestly can you pray with confidence. When you look out only for your own interest, only one person is working on your behalf, you. But when your goal is to bless others, God goes to work and answer your prayer in ways you never imagined possible. Try it and see for yourself.